Question one, Hayden has placed a cricket in a terrarium. He is interested in learning about cricket behavior. Which of the following is a question about cricket behavior that Hayden can answer through a scientific investigation? The correct answer is D. How will the cricket behave if another cricket is introduced into the terrarium? The explanation for that answer, um, questions asked by biologists must be testable through a scientific investigation. Questions about non-humans' feelings or questions that can only be answered by opinions are not testable through scientific investigations. Question two, examine the flow chart. Which diagrams the scientific method? Can you conclude from the examining the flow chart what can you conclude from examining the flow chart above? And the answer for number two was C, the scientific method is not a fixed procedure. Because at various times it involves systematic observations, carefully collected evidence, logical reasoning, and imagination in the development of hypotheses and explanations. Sean wants to know whether monarch butterflies prefer to feed from flowers of a certain color. Sean placed different colored lantana flower plants in separate 1L terracotta flower pots, one liter. He has a white lantana, purple lantana, orange lantana, yellow lantana, and red lantana. Sean set the pots on his back porch. He then observed the pots for four days and recorded how many visits each of the flower plants received from a monarch butterfly. What is the variable in Sean's experiment? And the answer for number three is B, the color of flowers. So a variable is the one factor that differs in a controlled experiment. In this case, the color of the flowers is the variable. All the other factors in a controlled experiment, for example, the size of the pot, the amount of sunlight, the amount of water, those should be identical to each other. A scientist discovered a new antibiotic and wanted to know if it would be effective against group A streptococcus bacteria. He designed a test experiment in a lab with 10 different cultures of the bacteria. He introduced the antibiotic into five of the cultures, leaving the other five to grow without it. He recorded the observations every three hours for a week. What is the independent variable in this experiment? And that answer is B, the presence of the new antibiotic. So in a scientific experiment, the independent or controlled variable is the factor that is manipulated by the person performing the experiment. So in this case, the scientist controlled whether there was any antibiotic in each of the cultures. Edgar was shopping at his local nursery. There he saw a bag of organic fertilizer that claimed to make the blooms on a flowering plant last twice as long as normal. Edgar was curious whether the fertilizer actually worked, so he conducted the following experiment. Edgar planted two new rose bushes in the same flower bed in his yard. He gave only water to the first rose bush, but he gave water and fertilizer to the second rose bush. What was the control group for Edgar's experiment? And the answer for number five is A, the first rose bush. The explanation for that, the control group is the experimental group, which does not have the variable applied to it. In this case, the first rose bush is the control group because it was given water only. The second rose bush was the experimental group because it was given water and the variable, in this case, the fertilizer. Which of the following is most often used to guide scientific inquiries and evaluate proposed explanations made by other scientists? The answer to number six is A, historical and current scientific knowledge. And the reason for that these things influence and guide the design and interpre interpretation of scientific inquiries as well as evaluation of proposed explanations made by other scientists. Nicole has planted a vegetable garden in her backyard. She is experiencing several problems with the garden. Which of the following of Nicole's problems could be solved through a scientific investigation? And the answer to this is D. How can Nicole improve the garden soil's fertility? Only certain kinds of problems can be solved through scientific investigation. In order to solve a problem through a scientific investigation, a person must be able to form a testable hypothesis about the problem. Controlled experiments are experiments that have only one variable. All other factors in the experiment are kept the same. Many hypotheses can be tested through controlled experiments, but it is not always possible to do a controlled experiment. 
which of the following hypotheses most likely cannot be tested with a controlled experiment? And that would be D. In the wild, chimpanzees from social groups composed of 10 to 20 individuals. The explanation for this? It is not always possible for practical or ethical reasons to control some conditions in an experiment. For example, controlled experiments cannot typically be performed on human beings or animals in the wild. In these situations, when scientists are unable to control conditions, they try to observe a wide range of natural occurrences. Then, they determine patterns by analyzing their observations. Question 9. A scientist is interested in viewing the arrangement of silica molecules and quartz crystals. Which of the following tools would be would help, excuse me, which of the following tools would best help the scientist during her research? And the answer to that is C, an electron microscope. Microscopes are tools that magnify the appearance of an object. A compound light microscope can produce an image that is a thousand times larger than the actual specimen that is not large enough to view a molecule. An electron microscope can produce an image a hundred thousand times larger than an actual specimen. And this is what is needed to view something as small as a molecule. So I'm going to change the format here a little bit so this video is not that long. Um, you can read the question. You can pause the video. The answer to question number 10 is A, and the reasoning for that is happiness is subjective and difficult to measure. The answer to question 11 is C. The force of gravity on an object can be measured by a spring scale because the object that is being measured is suspended from the bottom of the scale. Question 12. The answer is also C. The reason for that, the dependent variable is the variable that responds to the manipulated or independent variable. It is the factor that the person performing the experiment wants to observe and or measure. In this case, the independent variable is the pollutant that was placed in each tank, and the responding or dependent variable is the level of the oxygen in that tank. Question 13. The answer is A. A hypothesis is written in a statement rather than question form. For a hypothesis to be valid, it does not have to be correct, but it must be testable. Statements which are not testable, such as statements about an animal's emotional state, cannot be the hypothesis. Therefore, the only answer choice that is valid is ruby-throated hummingbirds hibernate during the winter. The answer to question 14, B is in boy. If students listen to music while studying, will their grades improve? Only this research question specifies what is being measured, grades, and how it will be measured. Will grades improve? Question 15, the answer is D as in dog. Some scientific explanations, such as explanations of astronomical or meteorological phenomena, cannot be tested with a controlled laboratory experiment. Instead, they must be tested using models. Question 16 is A. A variable is the one factor that differs in a controlled experiment. In this case, the color of the flowers is our variable. All the other factors in a controlled experiment, for example, the size of the pot, amount of sunlight, and I recognize that you have the same question on there twice. Question 17, the answer is B. When trying to solve a problem with a technical design, many researchers have found success by studying how the problem is solved in nature. Many forms of modern technology from robotics to aeronautics take their inspiration from the natural world. Answer for number 18 is, <clears throat> excuse me, C. Step three would compromise would compromise the experiment by introducing a second variable, in this case decomposing bacteria, he has invalidated the control group of the experiment. Experiments should only have one variable to be valid. Question 19, the answer is B. For Maria to decide whether her hypothesis was correct, she must know the densities of the solutions before they react, as well as the density of the mixed solution after the reaction has taken place. The answer for question 20 is C. 
Because the variable in a controlled experiment differs between the control group and the experimental groups, scientists can be more certain that differences in the variable are causing any differences observed in the outcome of the experiment. In the case of Trisha's experiment, she will need to compare any cancer rate she finds with frogs exposed to the pesticide to the natural cancer rate in frogs not exposed to the pesticide. For the purpose of this three-section scientific inquiry, numbers 1 through 20 are all about investigations. So what you're going to do is put the number you have correct over 20 and you're going to divide that number by 20 and that will equal your percentage. I'm going to say if you have a 75% or higher, this is something you will not need to study.